All right, Beth, Betsy, a homeschool mom, uh, gave me some great suggestions for um, homeschool drawing ideas. One of them is a human brain, which her daughters did a report on. Anyways, so we're gonna get started. First, we're gonna start with the skull or the, let's see, the cranium that's protecting the brain, just so you can see where it's placed inside the head. So it is more, it's not technically round, it's oval. So we are going to make an oval brain. We're gonna stop right there. So we're not gonna continue it on because we're gonna be putting in the face. I'm just gonna give you a rough draft of where the face is going. So just come down, we'll, we'll be adding stuff to it. And then it's gonna come over like this. So we can kind of get a rough draft of where that face is in there, okay? And inside here, we wanna go along and give it a brain. We're gonna put all of its bumps in there in a minute, but this is just so we know where the placement of the brain is. Okay, so the brain's right there. This is the cerebellum. And I know I didn't get all the extra pieces like I should. This is the spinal cord there. Very important. It's all very important. Very, very. Okay. And so now we are going to work on the skeleton part. So right here, this is gonna be where the nose is. So it's gonna come in like this. And this will come down. This is where it's gonna come out. This is where the teeth are. And this is the chin, okay? So now you can erase in there so we can get that side view of its skull. Super job. If you want, you can give it extra little piece there. All right, so right here in the middle of that archway, this is where its mouth is gonna be, its teeth. We'll be putting in the teeth. I'm just showing you where they're kind of going. And then this is the eye socket. Where the eyeball goes. All right, we're gonna give more detail right here. So I made it sharper here. Then it's gonna come in like this. There's that jawbone. And up and over. Okay, so there we have our jaw. Okay, for the teeth, um, you can just start drawing in some teeth in here. Since this is not my main focus, I did not focus on how awesome the teeth could look. And of course, I made the bottom teeth bigger than the top teeth, which should be the opposite way, but that's okay. We're not, and then the molars are of course are bigger. Okay, there you go. And now we're gonna work on the brain. So the brain, we're gonna make it look like it's scalloped edge. So you wanna go all the way around this and make it scalloped. And then we'll, because if you look at a real, I, oh, I got to, I think I was in third or fourth grade. One of my friends, dad was a dentist, but he came in for a science experiment and brought in a human brain. I will never forget it. We got a Fiat Touch the Brain. It was in a big plastic bag which was hilarious to me. And it was in this nasty liquid that preserves it. And so now you want to end up, you're gonna erase all this extra line because we just want it to look scalloped all the way around. All right, coming inside, now we're gonna making all these wiggly lines. So you just find a spot and then come in. So it's gonna look like it's almost all connected. And we'll come over here. And you guys can make the wiggly lines however, wherever you want. You just kind of want to make them, they're eventually all going to connect. And then coming off of this, you can make, this is like the little crease lines. You can make some more in here. And we'll come off of here. Make another extension coming off. Woo. I'm going to end it here. Some of them have these little lines so it looks like it's 
coming around the corner. So we just made, just right here, look at this. It's coming around, so let's keep it going. Oh, and then make some little lines coming off of it and have it coming around again. We're gonna make this one wind all the way around. So, so it just kind of wrapped around. Let's make another beginning over here. And have this one come in here. And then you wanna make some lines coming in. And this one will just, it looks like it's a piece of one, but you're only seeing part of it. So this, there's no, you guys can put it however you want. I don't know if I did that correct, but you know what? In the end, it's gonna look awesome, right? Okay, so now let's take our Sharpie and we're gonna Sharpie it. I am going to double Sharpie just the brain since that's what we're focusing on. All right, these are the four colors I primarily use. I'm gonna just start with pink and I'm gonna color the whole thing gently with pink and then I'm gonna come in and draw harder. So just color. So si signs of successful brain surgeries go as far back as the stone ages. So they can go back and I've seen a documentary on this that where they've cut open, they can see inside the skull where that they have like a square or whatever or a circle and they've cut open the skull to get to the brain. So they've been working on the brain. I don't know how successful they were because you know, we didn't live back then. Uh, I don't think they had the same medical uh, knowledge that they do now. Okay, so it's lightly done. Now you wanna go around, around all of the Sharpie. You're gonna press down harder along the edge. Okay, so it makes it look more three-dimensional. An adult brain, oh, see, I was wrong here. I was always told that the, well, maybe they were telling back the schedule, bleh. the adult brain weighs three pounds. So I always had in my brain, it was 10, but I guess maybe that is with this, the cranium, the skull and everything. So that's probably 10 pounds. Um, but if, the, if you just took the brain right out, it'd be like three pounds. So I'm just going around all of the Sharpie. So you wanna do that? Maybe I'm just gonna do half of this so you guys can see it, okay? And when I color usually, see the background, I just try to go all one direction. It just makes it look nice and I always like to outline where I've Sharpied. It just, I think it just gives it a cool look. Um, what else do I know? Oh, 75% of the brain is made up of water. That's why it is so important to stay hydrated. So when you're dehydrated, it's going to affect your brain because your brain needs water. Well, your whole body does, but your brain definitely needs water. And as most humans, we don't drink enough water. I do not, I need to drink more water. Okay, so you wanna go over all the Sharpie. I think I'm just gonna do half of it so you can see, okay? What else do I know? The human brain will grow, uh -huh, interesting. It will go three times in size in the first year of life. So the Beba's brain will grow three times its size. Wow, just in the first year. That's a lot of brain growth. I mean, you just see the progress that it makes. When it starts talking and crawling and then walking and it's just amazing. So what you're going to do after you've done that on all of it is you're going to take the light brown and then now you want to go around the edge here and this is just going to give it a little bit more depth and look real. So you can do that on, on everywhere you've done pink. Don't go as far out as the pink. And if you need to, what you're probably going to have to do, which I realize I didn't do, is I'm going to come out more on the pink. So I want the pink to come out more. It's going to look at, make it look more 3D. 
Okay, the human brain, oh, this is a sad one. Wow, well, the human brain gets smaller as it gets older, and usually it starts getting small uh, around your middle age. So it starts shrinking. That just, that just not very cool. Okay, so I'm just coming in more with the pink, and I'm gonna go in with a light brown, and I'm gonna go around the edges. So I guess the prime of the brain is in your teens and 20s. That's when it's like prime functioning. Great. Probably like the 20s is prime because I don't think it's fully developed before you're in your 20s. So, all right, live it up when you're in your 20s because that's as good as it's gonna get. So you wanna go around, you see how it's making this compared to that and you can keep working on it till it gets good. And so what I did with these, um, I just took, this is tan, and I just made, this is what the picture looked like. It looked kind of like a hairy, it looked like a kiwi. Yes, it did. I think I even went with dark brown and went in there. Made extra lines, or actually light brown. So I'm just coming in here. So you come in here with the light brown, which you've already used, and you can make lines again. And come in here and make a shadow so it looks like it's underneath. And then I went over it with yellow to warm it up. Okay, and then these ones are all gonna be yellow and I'm gonna outline them with tan. And so during the mum, oh yes, the mummification process back in Egyptian time, they would, when they're mummifying them, they would remove the brain through the nose. Isn't that awesome? Just suck it out right through the nose. My daughter had to do a report in school and she made a, out of a doll, she made a mummy, made a little casket and everything. And we, we made, we put string in the nose and we put a hole in the nose so she could pull out the string as representing the brain coming out. It was pretty awesome. All the kids thought it was so cool. Okay, so I probably would make this a little darker. And then they would take out all of like the essential organs and they would put them in like jars. So we made fake or organs and so she'd be pulling them out of the doll's stomach. I know, a little morbid, but you know, it's fun. Something we'll never forget. Anyways, so try to finish that up. I outlined it with a little blue to make the, the skull, the cranium pop. And I hope you have a most amazing day. Peace out.